that if you're going to win the economy in your city and in your region, that among the things that you have to do is to provide those transportation choices. I think the very first thing is to really frame public transportation in terms of the needs and priorities of your community. And I think inviting other people to participate in that is a really critical step. Ask them to fund it or to ask them to volunteer. People talk a lot about how great Capital Bike Share is and I certainly love the system, but people don't always talk about the fact that it's our second system. That we had a system called Smart Bike uh, before we had Capital Bike Share and Smart Bike was an abysmal failure. It was a tiny little system, only 10 locations, so it really didn't get you where you wanted to go. We were able to replace that dinky little bike share system with something uh, that was much, much better and immediately successful. And without the support of citizens, that initial failure could have been the death of all bike share in the city. The ability to say yes being one of the most important things that you can do when you're running a public agency, and for that matter, when you're running a private company too. You need local champions to show that, hey, I ride the bus too. Hey, I'm a doctor and I'm a biker. Hey, I'm the mayor and I decided to walk to work today even though it's raining. The only way this is gonna happen is if mayors and city leaders actually get out in front. If they just don't give their departments of transportation permission to start ripping up some parking, putting down bikeways, it isn't gonna happen. A lot of times people get really upset if you talk about taking away parking spaces, but if you like close a street to car traffic and open it up for anything else, you give people an opportunity to reimagine how you would use all that public space.